Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Uh, my name is Valerie, if you're new to my channel. And for those of you who aren't, welcome back and glad to see you again. Um, today we're going to do a haul. I did um, a grocery haul. Half of my table is going to be Kroger's haul and half of it is going to be a Walmart haul. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm on a debt-free challenge or debt-free um not challenge i'm on a debt-free journey i guess and um so i have set forth um budgets for myself and grocery budget was a main thing that i need to really stick to i wasn't spending as as much at the grocery store as what i needed to to get through all my meals because i don't eat out and to prepare lunches and have dinners and breakfast and all those kind of things. So I've upped, increased my budget, and uh, let's see how it went this week. I think it did pretty good. So we'll give me just a second, and we'll be right back. Okay, here we are, guys. Um, half of the table, um, this side, in kind of in the center, past the milk and everything over on this side, is my Kroger haul. And everything on the other side, center over, is my Walmart haul. And I do have a bag of ice that I got at Walmart as well, but that is in the freezer because I did not want it to melt. Okay, so I've got my uh, I've got my receipts here, and I'm pretty good with numbers, so I pretty much know what I've spent on certain items. So um, I got some reference here. So let's get started. So what I got, I've been wanting to get some hard salami or pepperoni type stuff. And I didn't want to like break the bank purchasing this stuff, but it's just very expensive no matter where you look for it. Um, and I absolutely found this and, and granted it's only six ounces, but um, I thought, you know, I'm going to try this out and see if I liked it. And, um, if I like it, I might get a couple couple bags, but um, this was like $2.29 on sale at Kroger's this week. So I'm going to try that. I want to put some cheese with it, and I thought maybe I could do some snacks and some lunches and that kind of thing with it. Um, okay, moving over, we got some onions. These are yellow onions, three-pound bag for a dollar fifty this week or two for $3. Um, I also got um, some strawberries, and these are... I think they're one pound. Yeah, one pound of strawberries, and they were two for five. I only got one, so that's two fifty. And then I'm gonna be making some beef stroganoff, but I didn't want to just do it with like hamburger. I wanted it like some actually steak in there. So um the recipe called for beef chuck sirloin, but this is beef chuck steak that I found at Kroger, and it was regularly, if you look at that, 916. Can you guys see that? And I ended up getting it for five forty six. So I thought that was a steal. It's about a pound and a half of meat. So um, yeah, I'm anxious to try that. That's going in the Instapot doing uh, beef stroganoff. So that's going to be good. I hope. I've been really hungry for that lately. Um, I also have been doing some uh, dip mixes for veg veggies and um, trying to get away from you know such fattening snacks and stuff. So something a little bit more healthy. And granted, I'm still going to have sour cream in this, which is you know, not the healthiest, but um, it's better than I think some other items I could be having. So I got the ranch dip mix for 49 cents. It says just add sour cream. So I'm hoping this is comparable to the um, Hidden Valley Ranch ones. Um, so I'm excited to try that. Um, I also got the green onion dip mix. And because I've tried the Hidden Valley Ranch ones, the green onion and the dill, they're both really, really good. And these are only 49 cents, opposed to what, like a dollar seventy-four for those other ones. So th I thought that was a great, great, uh, great savings. <laughs> um, I am also planning on having some tacos, and I don't like real spicy, so I got a mild taco seasoning pack, and I believe this was also 49 cents. So I thought that was really good. Potatoes. I got five pounds of potatoes for a dollar fifty, or they were two for three dollars. I thought, wow, that's a really great saving, really, really great savings. So I grabbed one of them. Um, I grabbed some oranges. These were on sale. They had a bunch of different ones. These I got the navel ones, the heirloom navels, and they also have like the cara cara and um I don't know, a bunch of different different brand, different ones like this. And these are three pounds. Okay, three pounds of heirloom, and these were a dollar ninety nine. So um, I was gonna get some of these like at Walmart, and they had 
kind of the same packaging type thing with at Walmart, but they were like three ninety four. So the, they definitely the prices at Kroger really worked great this week. They really knocked some some of the prices at Walmart out of the ballpark. Okay, um, moving on. Hot dogs. I got some Eckridge Jumbo Franks. I like to have hot dogs from time to time. What I do is I put them in the freezer, and then I just take a couple out at a time and heat them up and eat them as I want them. Um, since I'm single and I live alone, it's it's more cost-effective to do it that way. Um, these were $1.79 at Kroger's this week. Um, they did have a couple. They had the bun length ones as well and these. I didn't see any ones with cheese or anything. Um, and I looked the price up at Walmart. Walmart's was like $1.98. So they were more expensive there. So I went ahead and got these at Kroger's. Okay, cottage cheese. Um, I want to make a recipe with cottage cheese. I do like a um, jello salad with cottage cheese in it and so this is it so i'm going to use about half of that for that and then the other half i'll use for maybe lunches and i might put some of those oranges in there with it that sounds really good i love that um so yeah large curd four percent um this was 24 ounces a dollar 99 at kroger's um walmart's was over two dollars 224 i think so yeah this was the better buy um sour cream i've got several several recipes i'm going to be using sour cream for i'm going to be using it for my dip i'm going to be using it for um my uh beef stroganoff i'm going to be making some kickoff burgers um this week um if you don't know what those are i'm planning on maybe doing a video for those um it's a quick easy meal and it's a very very yummy and uh, my parents used to make it when there was like uh football like football sundays so anyway i'm going to be using a lot of sour cream so this is uh 48 ounces of sour cream um this was 389 um that was the cheapest i could find it uh walmart was like 424 for i think the same size so yeah that was a good deal as well i saw that i was like oh yeah okay um, I also thought, oh, I'll get some crescent rolls. Maybe I'll roll some hot dogs up in there or I'll do something. Maybe I'll want some, you know, a couple dinner rolls with my meal or something. So they're $1.25 each at Kroger's. Okay, um, I'm going to be making chicken marsala uh, sometime next week or so. So I got my Baby Bella mushrooms. I did not get them sliced this time because these were actually cheaper. Um, these were like, um, I think they had them at Walmart for two oh eight for 8 ounces. But they didn't look really good. So I, I opted out and got them at Kroger's because they looked a lot more fresh. And I spent $0.10 cents more on them. But to me, it's $0.10 cents worth the money if they look better um, and taste better. Um, I also got some white ones as well because I like to chop these up and just put them in salads. I like to di throw them in my dip, my veggie dip, and eat them like that. I like to just, I'll, I'll use these in all different kinds of ways. So these were, I think, I'm thinking these were a dollar... $1.98. Yeah, these were $1.98 a package for eight ounces. Uh, Walmart's, once again, was a little bit cheaper, 10 cents a package, but they looked very, very nasty. So I did not want to get those. Um, I also got two of these whipped topping um, things that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using them um, to dip like some fruit in. Um, I got some pudding that I want to mix some pudding up in with with them and some milk and maybe dip some uh like do like a fruit dip with one of them um the other one's going to go in the freezer so i uh, want another thing i'm going to be doing is with my jello salad is going to be using that as well uh cheese they had cheese on sale the the kroger brand cheese for dollar 88 six to eight ounces so i got this mexican style blend um the shredded monterey jack blah 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 for a dollar 88 it was eight ounces um, I like to have just some of this laying around for if I want to do quesadillas, I'll have some different quesadillas. If I want to do, uh, you know, whatever, you know, I throw it on pizza, I'll throw it on some frozen pizza or whatever what I like. I'll do some uh, toasted cheese, that kind of stuff. So I love to keep a lot of cheese in my house. I really do. Um, I even do like stir fries and throw this in with it as well. I also got a block of cheese to go with my... Um, 
my hard salami. I got the Colby Jack because I love Colby Jack. And it was 8 ounces and it was $1.88. So I thought that was a good price. Pro, um, Walmart's is normally like $2.22. So I did save some money. And even um, Aldi's is normally about like right at $2 a block. So I got that. Then I was going to leave and not get any more cheese. And then I found this Tillamook on sale. Eight full ounces for $1.69. Farm style thick cut. And I thought, oh my gosh, $1.69. Yep, can't beat that. I'm going to grab a package of that. So I got a package of that as well. Um, okay, moving on. I got two of these for my uh, sugar-free uh, jello salad. Um, so it's a great little jello salad for uh, diabetics. There's two of those. Those are 39 cents a piece at Kroger's. Um, I also... Got two uh, tomato juices. They were on sale for $1.50 a piece. And it is very hard, I think, to find um, tomato juice that's very reasonably priced at Walmart. Um, and even at Aldi's, I have had problems finding it for, like, chili and stuff. So I was really glad to see it. So when I saw it, I thought, I'm grabbing two of these. I may not even be using them this next couple weeks. But I've got them in my pantry and it, just in case I need them. I also got me a self-rising crust pizza. Those were like $2.94, $2.74, something like that. I like the Supreme. These are actually really good pizzas. Walmart also has a very good one at that, about the same price point, maybe a little bit more. And so does Aldi's as well. I think Aldi's might be like two. dollars 49 269 something like that in my area but they're all three of them are actually really really good so when i want pizza i don't call out for pizza i don't go and eat out or anything like that i just make do with what i got at home and then back here you'll see i got four diet pepsis um they had a deal if you bought four they were 99 cents a two liter so i went ahead and got four of those because i am a diet pepsi addict right now um, I know it's not good for you, but um, you know what? After quitting coming off smoking, um, I really need something. And that's my little vice right now. So that is everything that I got at Kroger's. And the total from Kroger's ended up being $49.55. So I thought that was pretty good. That was about half my budget for this week. Um, cause what I like to do is my first paycheck of the month, I like to do like about a hundred dollars and then keep back about another 50 for the rest of the month for my groceries for my stock. I normally take that out of like my last check of the month. Okay. So moving on, let's, we're going to move quickly. I got to get this food put away. All right. I'm going to come back here. This side is all Walmart. And I got milk. I got me 2% regular milk. I would love to do organic, but organic is just so expensive. And right now I can't afford it since I'm trying to get on a debt. Oops, sorry. Trying to get on a debt free. I'm on the debt free journey and I'm trying to become debt free. So maybe someday as my debts get paid off, I'll be able to move into doing more organic stuff. But at the moment, I just can't do it. So it was $1.45 for 2% milk. I don't drink a lot of milk, but I still like to have a gallon of milk in the house um, for like, you know, when I do when a, a glass of it or for cooking and that kind of thing so um yeah i normally just go ahead and grab a gallon because i think by the time you do a half gallon you might as well just spend an extra little bit and get a full gallon um i also got three pound boneless skinless chicken breasts uh, i need two pounds of that for a recipe that i'm going to make i'm going to make um some chicken marsala um, I don't know if I'm going to do it this week or next week, but th that I made it before. Um, I, in my, my, uh, instant pot actually, and it was so delicious. Got the recipe off of, off of pressure luck. And oh my gosh, if you want some good chicken marsala, uh, look up, uh, Jeff on pressure luck and get that recipe because it is awesome and it's not, it's very easy to make. But anyway, I had leftover wine and I had some leftover shallots and, um, stuff that I was able to make it. So I just needed to get some chicken. I thought, well, I'll just get that and use that up. Um, that's what I try to do. I try to go through everything before I make my list. I check my pantry, my freezer, my refrigerator, and I try to build off of those, those areas of what I have in there for other meals. Okay. I got some life cereal. I normally do not get cereal, but I thought, oh, that sounds kind of good right now. I got some cinnamon life. I got the giant size and this was 364 at Walmart. 
sorry, the uh, the chicken breasts were five ninety four. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, and I got these last time, and I threw these in my um, Instapot with some bacon and onions and potatoes. Oh, my gosh, these are so, so good with them. I love them. They're about like a pound and a half each bag, and they're like $1.68 a pound. So these were like, you know, a little over two bucks maybe. Um, so they were, they're really, really good, and I love them. So, yeah, I got that. Um I love veggies in my Instapot. It just gives them such a great flavor. So I got a lot of veggies in order to eat in the Instapot. Plus, I'm trying to be healthier. Um, so I got a head of cabbage. That's going to be in one of my meals. And the cabbage was 67 cents a pound. And this was a little under three pounds. So, um, what, $2.10 approximately. Um, I got some broccoli crowns. These were $1.77 a pound. And this was... Um, little over a pound and a half, I think. So we're looking at a little over $2 or so. I guess I could get my receipt here and give you the exact. Let me find it here. <laughs> yeah, broccoli crowns, I paid two thirty two for, and they were a dollar, a 1.31 pounds. The green beans, I paid two sixty four for. Um, and they were 1.57 pounds. And the cabbage, let me find the green cabbage, I paid $1.94 for. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was 2.90 pounds. So yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, and I got some green onions. These are organic, and these were $1.74. So I thought, oh, that'd be so good just to dip into my dip and stuff. I love green onions, so I got some of them. Um, I got another bag of carrots. We go through carrots pretty pretty regularly. Violet likes to eat them as snacks, and I like to have them in my uh, Instapot, and I like to make soups, and I like to put that stuff in there, and pot roast and that kind of thing. Um, let's see, chick uh, chicken. Uh, carrots, baby carrots were $1.92 for two pounds, which I thought was a great, great price. Um, I also needed some toilet paper, so I got some Scotch tissue that was $3.97 for four rolls, which is very pricey, but anything with toilet paper seems to be very pricey anymore. Um, I got two green peppers. Those are 73 cents a piece. Um, I got some, three pounds of sweet potatoes. I've been really, really hungry for sweet potatoes. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to grab a bag and I'm going to see how they, these babies go taste in my Instapot as well. So, uh, these were two sixty four for three pounds. I also needed some butter. So I got a pound of butter. Um, that was two ninety eight or two ninety nine, somewhere around there, right at $3. I got some mushrooms. I love to have some jarred mushrooms as, as, as well as fresh mushrooms because I love mushrooms and I like to use these for, I don't know, I throw these in all kinds of things, stir fry, soups, um, spaghetti, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, then I got some grape tomatoes. These were $1.99 for, I think they're one, one pint. And I got some the other week with these, and these were so good. They were so sweet and juicy. I loved them. So I thought, I'm getting these again. I really used them a lot with my dip. Um, and then I got some Parmesan cheese. And normally I get the off-brand because it's cheaper, but this was only $0.04 cents higher than the normal. And this is my favorite, ultimate favorite Parmesan cheese. I'll use this on all kinds of stuff. Okay, guys. Um, Where was I at? I did the Parmesan. Okay. Uh, vegetable beef soup. Um, this is a minute. And you have one can in my pantry, but I needed another can. This is going to be part of my uh, kickoff burgers. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I might go ahead and just film that. You guys let me know whether you would rather see me make uh, chicken marsala, um, beef stroganoff, or kickoff burgers. Um, and, um, or all three, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do all three, I guess I could do that. But anyway, um, by the time you tell me though, I'll probably already be cooking. So <laughs> I'll just film all three just in case. So yeah, that was 74 cents at Walmart. That's not too bad for a can of soup. A lot of times if you watch their soups, which their soups are very, very good. Um, a lot of times you can get them for 50 cents a can. So, um, unfortunately this week was not one of those weeks. Okay. 
Uh, moving on, I got two pounds of ground turkey. I really like this ground turkey. Um, it is marked in their freezer section as $1.50 a pound. Um, but when you get to the checkout, it seems like lately it, it gets charged at $1.66. So I told the cashier and he came over and he adjusted it and made it, made it correctly, made it correct. So, um, they also have like the turkey breakfast sausage. They have, um, the seasoned ground turkey for tacos. I've not tried that yet. And I probably should have tried that instead of getting taco seasoning, but I make tacos with this. I have made sloppy joes. I have made this, um, put this meat in my, uh, spaghetti sauce. I have made meatloaf with it. I have done so many things with this, made nachos. Um, and this is really, really great. If you're really watching your weight and your calories, um, this is a great way to do it because it really slashes a lot of calories. And it's really good. It, 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 it's actually very, very tasty. And where can you get dollar for, a thing of meat for $1.50 a pound? You really can't get that anywhere anymore. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, bananas. I got bananas for $0.40 cents a pound. And these, I think, were... I only got four because I don't want them to go bad. Um, so I got 1.39 pounds. So it was $0.56. Cents. Not too bad. Lettuce I thought was pretty pricey. It was $1.48 a head. Um, but I was already planning to do like taco salad and tacos, so I needed it. So I went ahead and got it. Um, anyway, um, and then I got some banana cream sugar free, um, instant pudding. This, um, is something I'm going to whip up into some of the cream whip topping and this and some milk and, um, have like, uh, I can dip in like my bananas, my strawberries and that kind of stuff. Or I can just have it as a, you know, a pudding, um, and add some of that through in it too, or on top, whatever. I also got some sugar-free chocolate one. Um, this one, this one was 98 cents. Okay. And the reason I got the Jell-O name brand one on this one is because they didn't have it in the great value. And then the great value one, I think was 68 cents, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 68 cents for this. All right, so um, I got some couple cans of corn. I was out of corn, so these were 50 cents a can. I got two of those, um, and I wanted a slicing tomato. Um, get down, Violet. Get down. So uh, I wanted a slicing tomato um, to put, like, chop up and put some of my tacos, or I like tomato sandwiches too. Just slice up. Plus, I I, I got to have some bacon in my freezer, and I've been wanting to have a BLT, make some BLTs too. So I got one because they were like $1.98 a pound. I thought that was kind of expensive. I could have got some of the other ones, but they didn't look very, very good. So those just looked really good to me. So let me see here. I think I paid not quite a dollar for that. It was right at a dollar. Let me find it here. <laughs> Bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying here. Oh, well, I guess I can't find it here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Ah, oh, I can't find it. Oh, tomato right here. A dollar. Yeah, I paid a dollar thirty seven for that. And it was a point six nine tomato. So yeah, I was that was probably not a great, great buy. But anyway, I've been really hungry for sausage and I really don't like sausage much. So I went ahead and I thought this sounded a really good maple Vermont maple premium sausage links. And normally if I get sausage, I'd like the rolled sausage, not these. But I thought, oh, this sounded really good. And I've got found some um pancake mix that I need to use up in my free refrigerator or in my pantry. And so I have some sugar free uh uh, syrup already. So I thought, oh, I could make some pancakes up and fry some of these up. And that would be kind of a good thing to take into work and just like throw it in the microwave and heat up and, and have a nice little breakfast there or have breakfast when I come home. Um, these little guys would be really good to uh, make and then put in some tortillas with some other stuff or whatever. I don't know. I just kind of make up things as I go. But yeah, I thought that sounded really good. So I thought, yeah, we're going to try those. They were $2.50. Um, I also got these flour tortillas. I like to keep bread and tortillas in the house because sometimes I like 
either or, you know. And I also like to have some um, English muffins in the house, too. I haven't got those for a while. But anyway, so I got some of these um, to try out because I've been really just craving these for some reason. Like little, you know, tacos. I'm going to use these for some tacos. I'm going to use these for, um, a lot of times I'll take like these mushrooms and onions and tomatoes and just fry them all together up with some, some olive oil and put some salt and garlic in there and then I put some cheese and then I just load them up in here oh my gosh they're so good okay smoked sausage I also want to put one of these some of these in um my vegetable uh stuff that I want to make in my instapot um so smoked sausage it was $2.98 at Walmart I was gonna get I looked at Kroger's but they were $3.19 I thought nope I'm not paying $3.19 when I knew they were $2.98 at Walmart um, also these, I normally get a 12 pack of these for like a dollar 65 or something at Walmart. And they went up to like over $2. They were like two twenty four or something. I thought, nope, I just like to have, keep a couple of these on hand. So I got two, um, just, you know, to fill in. Sometimes I'll make these and throw these in, um, my, my pot of vegetable as well to have a little bit more substance to it. Um, sometimes I just eat these on their own. So yeah, um, I know they're not the healthiest. I know they're low and with sodium but I don't need them very often but I do like to keep them in the house okay last but not least um I been hearing that this better than bullion stuff is amazing and that it's better than actually getting uh broth um because it lasts for so long um it says that this um only one teaspoon of this better than uh bullion equals one cube or one eight ounce can of broth with, I'm, I'm assuming probably, yeah, it'd be one cup of uh, water. And I heard uh, that this is just really lasts a long time. So this was three ninety seven. I did look at uh, Kroger's and they were a little bit more expensive at Kroger's than um, they were at Walmart. Um, so I went ahead and got it. This at Walmart. Um, they had all different kinds of flavors too, but Kroger's had a little bit more, uh, variety as far as flavors. So yeah, I'm going to try this out and, uh, see how I like it. And, but it's supposed to be like really last a super long time rather than always having to buy broth. And then you can make exactly the amount of broth that you need or that you want uh, without, you know, um, having to open up one of those boxes or cans of broth and, not using a lot of it and throwing it out and being wasteful. So I thought I'll give this a try. I heard it. It heard it's really, really good. Okay, guys, that is everything. And my bag of ice I got. Mom, um, that's in my freezer. I got um I think it's a seven pound for dollar seventy two. So my grand total at Walmart was sixty dollars and eighty eight cents. So I wouldn't want to want to go over a hundred dollars this week. But I went $10.88 over. Um, and I thought that was pretty good. So I'm really not over my budget for the month because um, I still have $50 that will be coming out of my check next paycheck um, to get me through the rest of the month. So there we have it. So guys, I got to get going and getting all this food put away before it spoils because I don't want to spend this kind of money and then have it spoil. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and let me know that as well. So I'm going to take off. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.